pastor. Everybody praise the Lord. You yourself, you become a testimony. You are the next person online will hear your testimony in Jesus' name. Here at the Alpha location and everywhere we are gathered together, testimony everywhere. Where is the testimony happening to you right there? Father, we well, thank you tonight. We well, bless your name. What a great, great, mighty God you are. The God that cannot fail. Lord, we pray that for tonight, the whole man, spirit, soul, and body, there will be a new creation, a new transformation. A new power that will surge through everyone tonight in Jesus' name. Do a new thing. Work a new miracle for the soul, for the spirit, for the body, for the family, for everyone here, everyone, everywhere. Thank you, Lord. We know it is done. In Jesus' name, we pray. If you are going to be the next testimony, say amen. You are blessed already. You can sit down. We're looking at Acts chapter 4 tonight. And Acts chapter 4, I'm reading from verse 9. If we this day, be examined, be questioned, interrogated of the good deed done to this impotent man by what means he is made whole. Understand? There was a transformation. The man was impotent. There was nothing working. The power of motion, not there from birth. And now, about 40 years of age, the power to walk, to stand, to run, to live a satisfactory life, the power was not there, impotent. And then the name of Jesus came through to him. And that through name of that name of Jesus took the powerlessness away and he became a whole man. Tonight, the Lord will make you a whole man. Amen. A whole woman. And the Lord will do the unthinkable in every life tonight in Jesus' name. Now. If you ask us, if you examine us, if you want to know what made the impotent man, the powerless man, powerful, able, and then is able now to walk and to run, and every part became completely whole. Look at verse 10. It says, be it known unto you all and to all people of Israel that by the name of Jesus, that's the name, that name has not lost its power. That name will take every pain in your body away. That pain will create a new thing. He'll make you totally whole in Jesus' name. That name will show you the way to become a man who can now stand, a man who can now see, a man who can now hear, a man that can be all he created you to be. You become a whole man. It says that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised 
from the dead, even by him does this man stand here before you whole. Whole. Tonight is that night when any sin missing in your life, every sin will be supplied. Spiritual, natural, physical, mental, professional, everything missing in your life, tonight the Lord will supply. Look at verse 12. In verse 12, neither is there salvation in any other. Neither is there healing in any other. Neither is there wholeness in any other. Neither is there soundness in any other. Neither is there power in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved whereby we must be healed whereby we must be recreated and restored whereby we must be made whole it's that name and i bring the name to you tonight tonight your problems are solved your, tonight, your infirmity, your impotence is taken away in Jesus' name. Tonight, we are looking at the new creation, the new creature, the new man, the new woman, the new person, a recreated person. A reformed person, a refined person, a person that is newly coming out, brand new from the hand of a great God in heaven. The new creation, the new creature, the new formation, the new transformation, the glorious transformation for the whole man tonight is the night when the Lord looks at you and he takes you from where you are is going to take you to the top and the peak of wholeness tonight in Jesus name yeah. you must always say the amen that befits a bare stage you know, there are some amens that will be feed that other place, that other place. But when you come to God's own stage, special amen, spectacular amen, the amen that will make the devil know, hey, don't play any tricks here. This one is God's own state it will happen in your life it will happen in every family because there is no other name given among men anywhere that can save and heal and deliver and give us total strength and total power but the name of Jesus the new creation tonight for the whole man. Three things we're looking at. Number one, the promise of a new heart. Out of your heart proceeds all things. Anything done. If your heart is weak, your life is weak. If your life, if your heart is deformed, your life is deformed. If your heart is grounded. Your life is grounded. Actually, when your heart stops, life stops. Therefore, the source, therefore, the origin of a good life, a better life, a strong life, a potent, powerful life is the heart. And tonight, the Lord will give you 
a new heart. The promise of a new heart. Number two, the performance of a notable healing. The healing you have tonight is not going to be an ordinary healing. A kind of day-to-day -day healing. The healing you have tonight is going to be notable. Notable. Somebody shout, notable. The performance of a notable healing. Number three is the privilege of your name in heaven. You didn't hear that one. Your name will enter the book of life in heaven tonight in Jesus' name. What a great privilege. And what a great promise by the Lord. What a great performance by the Lord. That your own name, not another person's name, your name. Mention that name. I said mention your name. Your name will be written in the book of life in Jesus' name. The privilege of your name in heaven. Look at number one. Number one is the promise of a new heart. In Ezekiel chapter 36. Ezekiel chapter 36. And I'm reading there from verse 11. And I will multiply upon you man and beast. And they shall increase and bring fruit. And I will settle you after your old estate. And will do better unto you than at your beginnings. Hear that one. The Lord is taking special interest in you. I have nobody, you have God. I have no helper, you have God. I have no supporter, you have God. If I just add contact with the right man, the right woman, here is where I want to go. But there's nobody to pull me up and get me there. I want to tell you tonight, you have God here tonight. Yeah. And he says, he will do better unto you than at your beginnings. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. How will he do that? How will he take you from where you are now to where you ought to be? How will he take the powerlessness away from you? The sinfulness away from you? And then give you a new heart, a new life, a new prospect, a new path, a new direction. How will he do it? Look at verse 25. In verse 25, then I will sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean. Tonight, you will be clean. Every uncleanness that angels will look at you and say, look at him, look at her is unclean god almighty will so wash you tonight will so cleanse you tonight that even an angel will not see uncleanness in your life the uncleanness you feel the uncleanness your sense the uncleanness that your conscience say man woman if nobody knows I, your conscience living here with you, I know how unclean you are. But you know tonight, the Lord will so cleanse and wash you. 
that even your conscience will not see any uncleanness in your life anymore. The Lord will take you and show you to the whole universe. See how clean I made this woman. How clean I made this man. He says, then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. It's water from heaven. God does not go to Jordan to take water. River Niger to take water. He doesn't go to the nearby brook to take water, the water of heaven. How glorious it is tonight that God specially himself will take the water from heaven and sprinkle it upon you. Upon who? And then he says, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. He will do it. Look at verse 26. It says, a new heart also will I give you. That's all. That's all. And the heart that determines how we think, what we do, where we go. And if we've been going the old way, it's an evidence we had an old heart. If we've been going the defiled way, it's an evidence we have a defiled heart. If we've been going the crooked way, it's an evidence we have a crooked heart but now he says he'll take the old heart away he'll take the crooked heart away he'll take the corrupted heart away and a new heart also will i give you you who is that what do you see there when you come out of this place tonight for the name of Jesus, doing this great work in you, you'll be new. Amen. Your heart new. Amen. Your emotion new. Amen. Your life, everything new. Amen. And then you'll go out, you will do new, new things. Amen. A new heart, a new creature, a new life, a new disposition a new thought, a new possibility in your life. He says, I also will give you a new heart and a new spirit will I put within you and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. He'll take the stony heart, he'll take it away. How do we know that we have been to the Lord? The old stony heart is gone, and then the new fleshly soft heart has come. How do we know? We are being to Jesus. He so cleanses us, and he takes the old stony, stubborn, rigid heart away, and our lives are now touched transformed by the Lord that now a soft heart, a good heart, a heart that behaves well, he himself, he will give that to us and tonight you are the next person to receive that. And then it says, and I will give you an heart of flesh. What's the difference? Heart of stone, that the heart that can slap a person, whether the fellow offended him or not, and he does not feel anything. The heart is stone. A stony heart does not have any feeling. How do we know somebody has a stony heart? 
they can steal the property of another person and they don't have any feeling that they've done anything wrong but it takes away that heart that does not feel anything when it does evil and then he replaces that stony heart with a heart of flesh your time has come yeah. even you know those who live in a family and this boy this girl they are the same father of the same mother and the boy can so ill treat that girl the same father the same mother and so torture and so torment that girl that the girl is thinking i think i ought to die and the boy the same family will not stop what he's doing until he drives the sister the same father the same mother to the bridge and to the brink of death that's the stony heart no feeling for anybody no feeling for a neighbor no feeling for what hurts other people but you know God says, if your life goes on like that, a stony heart will produce a stony life. A stubborn heart will produce a stubborn life. And those are the people, when you have a stubborn heart behind the wheel, and it's the, the life stony stubborn that is controlling the driving look at this man stony heart is coming like that there's another vehicle coming from the opposite side and they are face to face and the stony heart says i will not turn for anybody if anything is going to happen he must turn I never yield, I never submit, I never turn. And the other fellow too has his own stony heart. And he said, look at this man coming in my direction. And look at this man, something will happen to this. Stony heart, against stony heart, they collide. Many people can die. You know, stony heart will hurt your life and will hurt the lives of other people that's what god is looking at he knows your future he knows your life he knows the outcome of a stony stubborn heart of a rebellious heart of a rigid heart in anyone therefore he says i'll take the stony heart out of you today is that good is that all right when you allow him I can't hear the people again the Lord will take the stony stubborn rigid heart away from you and look at verse 27 in verse 27 and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes why because when you walk in the statutes of the lord when you walk in the way of the lord he said if you will diligently hearken to the voice of the lord your god and you will keep his way i will bring none of these diseases upon you which are brought upon the egyptians for i am the Lord that he led thee. It brings healing. It brings progress. When that spirit of God comes upon your life. Number one, he washes you clean. He sprinkles clean water upon you. Number two, he takes the rebellious, rigid, old heart away from you. Number three, he puts a spirit to direct and to control and to make you walk in a statues and keep 
his judgments and do them, then something great will happen in your life. Look at verse 37. In verse 37, it says, Thus says the Lord God, I will yet for this be quiet of by the house of Israel to do it for them. What's he, going, what's he saying? You must still pray. You must still indicate you want that new life. You must indicate you want that new heart. You must indicate you want that cleansing from heaven. I will yet be quiet of. He wants your petition. He wants you to pray so that he will do it for you. He'll do it tonight. Proverbs chapter 23. We're reading from verse 26. Proverbs 23. From verse 26. My son, give me thine heart. That heart is defiled until you give that heart to him. That heart is corrupt until you give that heart to him. That heart is sinful until you give that heart to him. That heart is stony, stubborn, rebellious, destructive until you give that heart to him. My son, my daughter, give me thine heart and then tonight it will wash that heart clean. It will cleanse you. It'll take all the idols. It'll take all the stone away from your heart. And let thine eyes observe my ways. When it changes your heart, when it transforms your heart, then your mind, your decision, your desire will be according to the path of his way. If you allow him, tonight is your night. Tonight is my night. Look at number two here now. The performance of a notable healing. The performance of a notable healing. There's going to be a performance in your body tonight. Pain, it will take away. Disease, it will take away. Infirmity, it will take away. Impotence, help me shout that word, impotence. It will take impotence away from you. In Jesus' name. The big brain that is impotent, cannot think well, cannot go well, cannot plan well. The brain that is impotent is only able to think what he thought yesterday, able to do what he did yesterday, but a new act, a new behavior, a new direction. That impotent brain does not have. The impotent legs is only able to sit down there and cannot move and cannot stand and cannot even crawl where the world puts him. That's where he stays. Where life deals with him and puts him there impotent, that's where he stays. But tonight is your night. It will take that infirmity, that impotence, it'll take it away in Jesus' name. Look at this in Acts chapter 4, verse 16, saying, What shall we do to these men? For that, in, for that indeed, a notable miracle, that's the word there, notable miracle has been done. By them is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot 
deny it. A notable miracle, a notable healing is a healing that nobody can deny. It's a verifiable healing. It's, a, it's so good a healing that anywhere you can take that testimony anywhere, it will be confirmed by even the machine, by the x-ray, by the scan. Your miracle will be a notable, verifiable miracle in Jesus' name. And the people said, look at this, look at verse 22. In verse 22, it says, for the man was above 40 years old. 40 years old. On whom this miracle of healing was showed. 40 years problem. We take it away tonight. 50 years problem. We'll be taking away tonight. How did it happen? We need to know. So that you will know. If we walk in the same path. If we pray the same way. If we use the same name. The same miracle that happened at that time. Will happen to you. To you. Say to me. Praise the Lord. You got it tonight. We're looking at Acts chapter 3. I'm reading from verse 2. Acts chapter 3. Reading from verse 2. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried from the ledge daily at the gate and the, of the temple which is called beautiful the gate was beautiful but the man was awkward ugly that because he couldn't move helpless at the beautiful gate to ask arms of them that entered into the temple look at verse 3 in verse 3 whom who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple asked an arms. Verse 4. In verse 4, then Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John and said, Look on us. Don't look now. The miracle is not on the ground. Look up. Your miracle is coming from above. Yeah. Don't look back. The miracle is not at the back. Look forward. Your miracle is ready right now. Yeah. Look on us. Verse 5. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them something and he got something greater than what he was looking for as you're sitting down there if you're saying i expect tonight to receive something am i talking about you yes. i said am i talking about you yes. i expect tonight to receive so really truly sincerely honestly i expect tonight to receive something you will get something yeah. something greater something bigger yeah. something better yeah. something higher yeah. than what you are expecting you will not leave that place until your miracle arrives yeah. look at verse 6 in verse 6 then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none. Don't go away. Silver and gold have I none. Keep on looking because something greater than gold, something greater than silver is coming your way tonight. 
silver and gold have I none. Peter, why then are you waiting? And you said, look on us. If we give you silver and gold, arms, you will spend it. It will all be over in a few days. But instead of arms, we give you arms, hands to work. That one will not be spent in one day or one week or one month for years. You have the arms. The arms, the money will finish, but the arms you are going to get is much more because those arms will work for all the silver, all the gold you need. So, if you are given anything, a leather bag or whatever, that thing will eventually become old and useless. But if you are given legs to walk and legs to run and brain to think, you have brain, you have hands, you have legs, that's more important than the silver and the gold. That's why he said, but such as I have, give I unto thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tell me, rise up and walk. That never happened to the man for 40 years. What you have not seen in your personal life for 40 years, tonight you will see. The salvation, the forgiveness, the strength, the power to live and to walk straight and to walk in the way of the Lord that you have not seen in 40, 50, 70, 80 years tonight you'll see it in Jesus name look at verse 7 in verse 7 and it took him by the right hand and lifted him up the Lord will lift you up today your life will be lifted up your body will be lifted up. Your progress will be lifted up. Somebody there, they are coming higher, higher, higher tonight in Jesus' name. Calvary will lift you up. Christ will lift you up. The power of the name of Christ will lift you up. Lifted him up and immediately his feet and Uncle Bose received strength tonight. Tonight, that man, that woman on the wheelchair, strength will come from above. Once we mention the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus rings a bell in heaven. The name of Jesus sends an alert to heaven. And once that name of Jesus activates the promise, the power, the performance of the Lord in heaven. Something will come down to you immediately. And then uh, your ankle, your knees, your hip, your backbone, your neck, your arms, shoulder, and elbow immediately will receive strength tonight. Yeah. Look at verse 8. In verse 8, and he leaping stood up. You will stand up and walk and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. You need an amen over there. The people that used to give him arms, that looked at him as a beggar, they were inside the temple. He had never, never, never been able to enter into the temple. You know, tonight the Lord will touch you. And where you have never been able to enter, tonight you will enter. 
you know all those other people they sit or they sat on good chairs and on good benches he was just on the ground outside at the gate but miracle brought him up miracle lifted him up power from on high lifted him up and he walked and he went to sit inside the temple he had never even seen the inside you will see you will have you will possess and where good people stay you will stay there where good people walk into and enter into you will enter in jesus name Look at verse 9. In verse 9, and all the people saw him walking and praising God. I myself, I will see you tonight. Yeah. I'll see you out of that wheelchair. I'll see you throwing the crutches away. I will see you standing and you will not shake, you will not shake, you will not shake. I'll see you walking in and I'll see you giving testimony. Yeah. Look at verse 10. In verse 10, and he knew that it was he which sat for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement people will wonder at the wonder that comes upon your life they'll be amazed at the amazing grace amazing power of the of the lord in your life tonight in jesus name and then the search at that which had happened unto him look at verse 16 in verse 16 and his name through faith in his name the name of jesus his name through faith in his name not faith in my feeling not faith in your feeling not faith in you is like something dripping on me. Not faith in human emotion, but faith in his name has made this man strong. That's you. I said that's you. Weakness will turn to strength. Impossibility will turn to possibilities in your life tonight. And it says, it says, they saw the man strong, whom ye see and know. Yea, the faith which is by him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Tonight, you get it. Tonight, you have it. I will have. I will have. What heaven is dropping on us tonight, I will have my portion. Point number three now. The privilege of your name in heaven. The privilege of your name in heaven look at luke chapter 10 and we're reading from verse 20. luke chapter 10 verse 20 notwithstanding in this rejoice not don't let your joy be limited to the healing to the deliverance to the physical notable miracle let your joy let your happiness, let your cheerfulness, let your excitement go beyond that. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you. Of course, of course, the evil spirit that have bound you until this day, they will be subject to us, subject to you in the name of Jesus tonight. The spirit of bondage 
will be subject to the authority of the name of Jesus and all the spirit of disease and evil tonight they'll be subject to us through the name of Jesus a good alpha location amen but but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven because your names are written in heaven say that with me because my name because my name is reaching in heaven say that look at this fellow he been wanting to go to an institution for a long time but because he didn't get admission he joined gangs joining the gang they caught him with other people and they put him in prison so his name is now in the prison over there in the prison is having the mind and the dream this is not where i ought to be my name should not be among the name of the prisoners my name should have been in the register of a good university and something happens as we're thinking about that the lord sent an advocate and the advocate helped him his name came out of the prison books and then an exam took place immediately after and the lord helped him and he passed the exam i'm talking about you tonight yeah. you'll pass that exam yeah. all it takes is repentance and faith in the lord jesus christ and lo and behold this young man, this young lady whose name has been removed from the register of the prisoners is now registered at the university. His name is now at the university. You are there. And the Lord is going to take your name from the prison of the devil. You have been in that register, but to say, I don't want to be here. I don't want to stay there. I want my name in heaven. The chains that bound you, remember, he is the chain breaker. The pain that tormented your life, remember, he is the pain taker. The way you didn't find and you have been there isolated there in the prison your prison doors are now open give me a good amen yeah. and he's the way maker and now you come out and you land in the kingdom of god and your name your name your name now is in the book of life my name is written there my name is written there in that book white and glowing my name is written there it's your turn it will happen to you right now it will wash you it will cleanse you it will purge you it will make your life a brand new life in jesus name it's bowed and eyes closed it's bowed and eyes closed that miracle that will transfer your name away from the prison of the devil the captivity of the devil and transfer your name into the book of life that moment is now it's bowed eyes closed you want to give your heart to Jesus so that he'll cleanse you 
He'll wash you. He'll put you. He'll blot away every evil sin that you have done. And he'll give you that new heart, new life. With your name in the book of life, wherever you are, raise up that hand. Praise the Lord for that hand. Thank God for that hand. A new stage, a new life is coming right now. It's of the time the Lord is waiting for you. He wants to open those prison doors. He wants to bring you out. He wants to sprinkle heavenly water upon your soul, upon your spirit. And he wants to give you a new heart. Anywhere you are, my son, my daughter, give me your heart. Raise up that hand. If you are raising up your hand here at the Alpha location and online everywhere and in any congregation all over the world, you are raising up your hand, please stand up. Stand up and say, I want this, this new heart, this new life. This new direction, this new way, and the way of the new creature, Lord, that's what I want. Raise up your hands and stand up. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you. In the front, in the middle, at the back, on the right, at the left, stand up right there. And as you stand up, the way to that new life is repentance and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Tell the Lord, the things I used to do by your grace, I'll do them no more. The things I used to drink by your grace, I'll drink them no more. The evil way I used to follow by your grace, I'll not follow the evil way anymore. Tell the Lord, that's called repentance. That the way to get into the kingdom of God. And the stealing I used to practice, I do that no more. The bad company, the bad gang I used to belong to, I come out, I belong to that gang no more. The hurt, the torment, the torture I used to cause in the life of people around me. By your grace, I'll do that no more. Turn away from your past life and turn unto the Lord, the presenter of the new life. Keep standing and keep your hand up. We're praying together now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, fulfill your word of salvation in every life in Jesus' name. You have said, whosoever cometh unto me, I will in no wise cast off. Receive everyone that receives Christ into their hearts now. In Jesus' name, the promise of that new life for the man, old man, old woman, middle-aged man, middle-aged woman, young girl, young boy, everyone calling upon you now, oh Lord, fulfill your promise, wash them, cleanse them, give them a new heart, a new life, now, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Let your spirit be witness with their spirit. They're now children of God. Their names are now written in the book of life. Confirmation in every life. The witness of the spirit in every life. Thank you, Lord. It is done. It is done. For me, for me, for me, it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there. 
they'll direct you as we call on our moderating overseer to lead us in the counseling session tonight. God bless you. Keep on standing. Keep on standing. Counselors, please get to them at the back, middle, front, and by the side, toward the canopy. Towards the canopy. Counselors, please get to them. Scatter yourself. Do not allow any that stood up to be kept waiting. Let all the counselors get to them. Go towards the road. We have a lot of people over there too. Some even stayed under the tent. Over there, please, counselors, no counselors should be standing idle now. Get to them. Heaven is rejoicing that your name is being written, I've been written now in the book of life. If counselors are not there with you, please call their attention and let them take your name so that we'll be able to follow you up and be able to help you in your newfound faith. And remember, all that gave their lives to Christ yesterday and this night, tomorrow by 3 p.m., there's going to be a lunch hour with Jesus at the canopy over there, 3 p.m. Please take their names. Please get to them. Write readably. And their phone number, please let it be complete digit. And if you give your life online, there is a link that you need to click. And you'll be able to fill the form and submit your name through the form and that platform, please. Just visit gckhq.org stretch connect. Visit gckhq.org slash connect. Then a form is there. You fill the form and then you submit. And if you listened via radio, please, you take this number so that you can send your name and your address and phone number for proper follow-up. Please, counselors, get to the people. Get to the people and make sure you collect all their names. And those who are sitting there, maybe your, maybe your born again already, and you did not stand up, you didn't give, you know, you are not giving your life fresh. Begin to pray and tell the Lord, remember me tonight. I will receive my own miracle. When you be blessing others, pass me not by. So those who listen over the radio, please take this number and send your name and your details. That is plus 234-915-444-9263. Plus 234-915-444-444-9263. Just send your name and we'll be able to 
establish contact with you and be able to forward some materials from our Father in the Lord that will help you in your Christian life. Please cancel us. Let's make sure everyone that stood up to surrender his or her life to Christ has been reached. At the back, far back, please get to them. By my left over here, those who are standing as those who are sitting, get to them. Toward the tent, at the main road, down, down there. Please, let's make sure that you are everywhere and all the people that did their lives to Christ is reached and registered. Please do that quickly. And the other people, please keep praying. Talking to heaven, telling the Lord, this night I will receive my own miracle. Remember, those who gave their life to Christ tonight, and those who did it yesterday, today we have lunch hour with you. Tomorrow we continue lunch hour with Jesus, and that's by 3 p.m. at the tent over there by the road. Please be there 3 p.m. and the Lord will be there meeting you. Cancel us. Please, after canceling, you don't need to go back to your seat. Remain with the people. There, you will be able to establish the testimony as well as your own testimony you will receive. So don't come back to your seat. Please remain with the people and let us ensure that everyone has been attended to. If you are true, where you are, please join other people that are still correcting the name so that nobody is left out. Let's rejoice. Their names have entered into the book of life. Let's take down their names so that we'll be able to follow them up, give them necessary materials that will help them retain their names in the book of life and maintain a consistent walk with Jesus. If you are true in your section, you indicate and let us let this provide us in this gate so that we know. But please, let's be thorough. Please let us make sure that everyone is attended to. I hope people have gone to the main road. People have gone to the overflow over there. Maybe those who are under the tent. I hope there are counselors there. Those who Give their life online. Remember that you visit the link showing in your screen and then be able to get the form and fill and send it online. GCKHQ.org slash connect. Just visit that's, and then you will see a form. Fill it correctly and submit. And those that listen over the radio, please send your details, your name and your contact address to the, this phone number. Plus two three four nine one five Four 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 nine two six three. God bless you. Those who are finished in their section, please to my left. If you are true, let me see the supervisor. Please indicate by raising the flag. It's okay. You are still there by my extreme left. Those by the middle in my front. If you are true, please, can you indicate 
by raising, okay, I can see your flag, but let's make sure that we have attended to anyone. Let's not be in a hurry to lift up the flag. At the far back, by the extreme left, if you are true, please, okay, I see the flags over there. Now to my right, in the front, if you are true, let the supervisors raise the flag. Okay, you are still on. Please, let's be fast so that we can run up. Then at the back, to the far right, towards the back, if you are true, please raise the flag. Okay, I can see those flags at the far back. So we are waiting to the people in front by my right hand side. And please, let's supervise us, those in charge, of the overflow and the people under the tent, let's make sure that every one of them has been attended to. People by my right hand side, please let's round up. Once you are true, let us know. The man of God is waiting. And tonight, you will not miss your miracle. Begin to tell the Lord, I'm here, I will receive. And if you're on which here, you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, whatever your condition, tonight a miracle will locate you where you are. By the right hand side, are you true? If you are true, please, can I see your flag or your hand waved? I can't see anyone there yet. Okay, I see somebody waving flag. Let's make sure we have attended to everyone. Tonight, everyone's chain will be broken. Everyone's sickness will be healed. How many of us are ready for the miracle? If you are ready, rise on your feet as we welcome the man of God, the convener of GCK. God bless you, sir. Amen. Miracle coming upon you. Your healing coming from heaven right now. The name of Jesus activates the miracle. Saints and at large to heaven. And once that name is mentioned, and at large also comes in your life there that indeed a notable miracle has been done in the man is manifest to all your miracle will be manifest to everyone tonight in jesus name that's a miracle with your name attached unto it Nobody will steal your miracle. Yeah. Nobody will catch away your miracle. Yeah. Everyone has his own. You have your own miracle tonight. Yeah. Where are you? You raise up one hand. You lay the other hand. Where you have the challenge. Impotence will vanish away. Yeah. Lameness will vanish away. Arthritis will vanish away. Blindness will vanish away. Insanity will vanish away. Every sickness, every torment of the enemy will vanish away in your life at the mention of the name of Jesus. My time has come. Raise up that hand, lay the other hand where you have the challenge when we mention the name of Jesus your miracle will come right there father in Jesus name we well, thank you for what you have done for what you are doing and for what you will do for everyone we're asking oh Lord every pain every sickness Every disease, every torment will vanish away now in Jesus' name. 
from the top of the head to the tip of the toe the neck the face the breathing system and the asthma the anea the swollen tummy the swollen legs pain anywhere come out in jesus name long standing sickness 40 years 30 years 8 years cancer ulcer blindness deafness come out in jesus name lord activate everyone's miracle right now send it down to everyone right now in jesus name that spirit of insanity come out right now in jesus name blindness be taken away bright sight come upon you right now in jesus name dumb tongues be loose right now deaf ears be opened right now goiter come out in jesus name Arch back be straightened up be healed be delivered of that load at your back in jesus name protect cancer be healed in jesus name breast cancer be healed in jesus name lung cancer be healed in jesus name that pile be healed in jesus name that hard fibroid like stone come out in jesus name i try to see some pain in your joint be healed in jesus name that problem in the throat get out in jesus name leprosy in your body be healed in jesus name every pain in your joint you are healed you are released in jesus name any problem every problem any sickness every sickness any disease every disease be healed in jesus name lord right now on everyone every place manifestation healing deliverance performance in every life in jesus name that's a confirmation of miracle in your life right now thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord in jesus name we pray i got it i got it if you get it get out of that wheelchair if you got it throw away those things if you got it open those eyes now you can see check yourself what you were not able to do before now you can do miracle confirmed upon your life